what's up youtube this your boy ink back at it again with another video y'all make sure y'all hit that like make sure y'all hit that subscribe button and a comment on the way out y'all we're gonna we're gonna get into the first time i learned how to make a weapon in california prison you know after getting sentenced to seven years you know after getting sentenced to seven years uh when i was looking at a life sentence and going into a California prison at 18 years old, basically from county jail to reception, I was 18 to prison. So at this time, man, um, I had already been through some things, man. I had been through, you know, riots, uh, you know, I've been through holding knives for people, holding knives for the car, for the holding knives for the organization, you know. So at this time, I ended up getting a celly, man, you know, my celly, he was a Marine. Well, he was an ex-Marine, you know what I mean? And he had been a Marine for a very long time. So, you know, he was like trying to teach me shit, right? And he goes, hey man, you wanna see this knife I made? It's like no other knife you've ever seen, right? He goes, I know I'm a Marine, man. I know how, I know how to make these fucking knives. I'm like, for real? Let me check that thing out, man. He goes, I could teach you how to make them if you want. And I'm like, all right, hell yeah, I want to learn how to make them. Mind you, I'm 19 years old now. You know, I'd only been in prison like a year. So he goes to show me this knife, right? And this shit is one of the most deadliest things that I've ever seen in my motherfucking life, bro. Like this shit was eye opening to me how dangerous motherfuckers could be in prison. That's another thing for y'all young folk, man. If y'all live in this lifestyle going to prison, you never know who you're dealing with inside there, man it's important and it's imperative that you understand that you don't know what type of motherfucking individuals you're dealing with in prison or how their mind is or how their mind works man you're only going to understand to a certain degree you know we do the same thing every day you watch certain individuals do certain things there is an understanding after watching and dealing with people but let me tell you what man you never know what motherfucker is thinking in his head and what he's capable of or where he's been in life you don't know that background. You don't know that struggle behind him. When you see him, you only see him. He only lets you know what he wants you to know unless you've been there. You know, unless you've done time with the dude, been there, seen him in action. So I really want to stress, don't go to motherfucking prison, man. But anyway, moving forward to, you know, him showing me this knife, this big ass fucking banger, big ass banger, bro. He shows me this thing. He goes, hey, and this thing, mind you, was like this thing. Look, look at my arm right here. Look it. This thing is as big as my arm. This thing is as big as my arm, bro. That's how big this knife is. But not only was it that big, it was sharp. It was fucking sharp. And mind you, this is a big old piece of metal taken off the, the bunk. Mind you, that's a whole nother process in itself, <laughs> right? Taking metal off a bunk. But he had took the metal, he took a whole metal strip off the bunk, I guess, before he had got in there, somebody had already cut off that a, a big old chunk of that bunk. So what he did was, is he cut the bunk even more going up, and then he sprayed it with the red spray paint, you feel me? So it was marked. So that's how they do that, they spray paint it. A lot of the times they don't really document it in the books like they're supposed to. It's supposed to be also documented in, in their books and shit. So anyway, moving forward, we get the shit from the bunk, right? Well, he got it from the bunk. He shows me the bunk, how he cut it. It was all nice with the spray paint. So he shows me this thing, man, and it's this big old banger, as big as my arm, bro. And he says, but look, look at how sharp it is though. And I go to touch that thing, right? And it cuts a little bit into like the tip of my skin. You know when it cuts that, you know, that layer of skin and it doesn't bleed, but it's sharp. It was like some shit like that. And I was like, damn, you know, I've touched some prison knives. I've seen some prison knives, but this is like the sharpest shit I've ever fucking seen, bro. And he's like, yeah, man, I can make you one and I can show you how to make them. And in my mind, I'm like, damn man this is prison this is what it is i gotta learn this this is the first process and steps into learning how to survive in prison because <clears throat> let's say you can't get something from somebody and you don't want everybody knowing that you went and got something from somebody from especially when it's inside your organization or car man word gets around so it's like you can go get something from somebody maybe one of your homeboys from your area or something like that but it's like what if you going at it with them what if you can't trust them that's another thing. 
so it's like i'm putting all this shit together in my mind like you know only i could only trust myself so this is something i need to learn in case anything goes bad like it just goes to the most extreme conditions of survival which i know after being in prison already you know i know that this shit is no joke so you know especially being on level fours you're talking about the shoe 180s level threes man these politics these yards in california bro they ain't no joke so after seeing that you know i'm starting to process you know survival and knowing what prison really is and starting to learn like this is what i gotta do to survive so it's a big wake-up call for me to especially to see something that dangerous and to know people could have anything in they sell and not only that also you know putting the work into making that shit bro something that you're gonna make use if need be right not for all of us we ain't head hunting not everybody's in prison head hunting but hey like tupac said i ain't a killer but don't push me you feel me so he's teaching me how to grind it in different directions and shit like that to get it to a real sharp point um he's showing me like how to make different ones and shit like that so we we made a little banger man and, and my shit was actually super sharp he he did it mostly all for me but he made it sharp i learned the process and he even chopped down these little wooden pencils man you get half a pencil right in prison they don't like to give you the full pencil but you could get get them from education man sometimes the teachers bring them in and they let them in and you'll see full pencils and you can steal them from education or whatever ask one of the youngsters in GED program to bring you some back if you need some bigger ones but anyway we usually the handle is like the size of those pencils you know those little ha those little half size pencils so what he does is he soaked them he's like listen you soak them and you get them wet and then you take them out and you let them dry so I don't know what that process was, but he also, mind you, used to use super glue. So he would take them, right, and super glue them, because we would have super glue in, in prison, believe it or not, if you have a hobby craft card, if you're approved to have hobby craft, um, then you can get like super glue and certain glues and shit like that. Anyway, you could get it from maintenance, bro. You can get it from the plumbers. You can get hot glue, whatever. You just, you know, get a little, thing of hot glue from plumbing or whatever anyway he was using super glue and we made a handle man he he would cut these wooden pe these pen he would cut these pencils in half and then he would leave the bottom part of the pencil to where it would round off where the lead was at so he would cut those pencils in half right but he would leave that bottom lip of the pencil right there so you know when the handle goes in and it so when these things go over the handle it has the bottom of the pencil still to it so they're all cut in halves boom 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 and the, that little edge at the bottom so he wraps that around the handle super glues it and then we would take string right so we would take this string right and wrap it around the handle after that so basically you have you know a firm grip on that handle and it's not gonna go anywhere so that was another thing was learning how to make like intricate handles that would really stick up or that you could really use you know what i'm saying that's gonna be firm and round and it's not gonna break on you anyway moving forward that's the first time i officially had learned and made something that you know could or would have you know either hurt somebody or took somebody's life man you know at 19 years old it's a big wake-up call you know the situations that you're in because it's serious you know and i was taking it very seriously i didn't take it as a game either you know at that age you know i was one of them youngsters that i wanted to fucking learn you know and, and not only that i wanted to learn the bad side of shit too i wanted to know what was up i want to know what this shit is you know i want to know what my surroundings is i want to know where i'm living this shit to just be you know absent-minded of what's going on in prison and not know the politics and not know the struggles and how to survive is just not a good way to go through prison when you're doing a very long stretch you know mind you this was my first term i had another term where i faced life again after i got out but that's another story so this is the first time i seen you know weapon actually be made and i've actually made a weapon you feel me so i just wanted to let y'all know y'all youngsters out there stay out of prison y'all never know who y'all dealing with y'all never know what somebody got in their cell this shit is just a wake-up call to me 
why I would never want to go back also. So everybody stay out of prison, man. Stay on the streets. Do the thing. Change the narrative, y'all. Thank you for rocking with me.